Hey, hey, uh, Jonathan Reichert here. Uh, so Drive and Fly RC uh, was asking about my GoPro mount, so I was just going to show you that here. But anyway, uh, so I have one sort of a base plate piece of wood underneath here all the way through. That's what um, is actually attached to the quad here. And with a couple of bolts. And then I glued on, it looks like about uh, 10 uh, earplugs. I glued them all on first, kind of half evenly spaced. And then um, I used Gorilla Glue and I did quite a bit of testing and I'm putting, pulling quite hard on that. It's not gonna come off. And then I took one more piece, you can see here. I glued that on the other side. So then I had this cushy thing going on here. And then I, I had a, uh, a GoPro clip that was already broken from something else. So I wasn't using it for anything. That's why I just decided to permanently glue it on here. Also with Gorilla Glue, very sloppy looking, but it really holds and does the trick. And then um, because it's permanently glued on, because uh, it's like a base plate, I guess it's one a little bit of a nuisance, but I can't just click the GoPro in and out of it, but I don't care. I just go like that to remove it. So um, I've got lots of other mounts, uh, so I didn't need this one anyway. And that's all there is to it. And then just to save one step, uh, when I go into the GoPro capture settings, I put, uh, I, I, uh, you can flip it upside down so that you don't need to do that when you go to edit it. It's already flipped for you. Yeah, this is just my voltage uh, buzzer alarm. Otherwise, that's it. And it seems like uh, I was pretty happy with the first video. Still lots of things I can work on, but it's, um, it seemed to absorb quite a lot. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I, I, I looked up some other various um, similar designs online and just kind of got the idea from that so and a box of 50 earplugs was only uh, four dollars so plenty to go around and right where it is right now if i set the gopro to 1080p um on the medium setting not the widest then it doesn't see these landing skids if i set it on uh, that's what that other video uh of my first gopro fpv flight there was but if you set it to wide, it sees these landing skids. So for now, I've just been setting it to medium. If I wanted to um, not have the skids in view and have it on the widest GoPro setting, uh, when I was testing, it had to be kind of like around here, maybe, maybe around here, I guess, this far forward. So... I did drill two holes for that setting on this wood thing, but I, I thought for now I'm just going to try this anyway. So Anyway, that's how I got my GoPro on there. Um, so yeah, leave a comment if you like it or if you dislike it. You can go to hell. <laughs> ah, one more note. Because of the space it's taking up, the battery um, has to be moved back a bit, but I figured that would be... Uh, you know, a bit of counterweight anyway. And I didn't have to do any adjusting. I put the battery on like that and I took off and I didn't even need to do any trimming. It uh, just stayed just like I'm holding it right now. Uh, even without the auto level on, it was very good. So, so far so good. And um, I'm sure there's a way I could save a bit of weight somehow and use something other than this, but this wood was really quite light, so. Uh, anyway, enjoy.